Hello and welcome to Zeta Parvo. So um, this is a much tighter system than some of the other ones. Um, still uh, quite a bit going on it seems. So uh, I'm going to start by exploring. Too dangerous down here, I hope. Alright, so there's critters on the surface over here. Found loads and loads of critters back um, in the other place, but um, you'd think you'd get more meat from something of the size of uh, this blooming thing. But whatever. I'm not complaining, I mean. Whatever it is, I'm, get, I'm getting something for it, so I'm happy. And, um... 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Ah, oh, that's just um, a uh, turbulent uh, windstorm, which is a shame. But yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to find anything else on this wretched planet, so I'm going to leave. Um. So yeah, nothing great from Zeta Pavo A3. Right. Oh, a crystal world, lifeless world. That's cool. Not too hot either. Ooh, I like the look of this one. Glue balls. Now, glue balls are quite a valuable commodity, from what I can tell. I mean, if you've ever, if you've ever had glue, you'll know how much fun it is to um, sort of just glue things to your balls. I don't recommend that by the way. <laughs> uh, so uh, we're going to leave that one. Oh dear. Yeah, there's nothing particularly um, great so far in the system. That, that glue balls planet is pretty cool. Right. Abundant biology. Mm -hmm. And then we've got um, strontium, copper, and nitrous oxide. Why shall we see Tom Craig's face? Right, there we go. Right, now it says that life's abundant on but I'm guessing that that is um, I think it said life is abundant but I think that that might be uh, some form of either mistake or um, that the life is just not life that is particularly in into oh my god whoops That was bad. Um, right, strontium 32, nitrous oxide 3. That means that I might be able to. I wonder where that stuff is actually located. It might be wherever um, my other lander got destroyed. Oh, and it's just been um, eaten by um, that cloud of yellow. Oh, smeg. 
Yeah, I ain't risking going back there. Hell with that place. I just lost a thousand IU. Well, there's more than a thousand IU on this planet, and if I don't get myself blown up like a complete and total muppet, um, I'll be able to, um, you know, at least make up for what I've lost. What an idiot. Oh! Hey, buddy. Take up my frustration on you. Sorry, man. Yeah, it seems that there are planets which have got a significant amount more life on them. Um, whatever crit a meat is used for is probably good. Um, Because otherwise, um, otherwise, I think that you get different amounts from different types of AI. Right. Carbon compounds, fifty. Now those weird sort of things, these, these life forms seem to be quite abundant in the universe, so I'm wondering if maybe someone seeded planets. Right. Just sort of left the life to grow. We don't want to spend too long uh, hunting things down. I'm so gutted at the fact that I lost two landers trying to do that stupid, pull that stupid stunt, man. That was bad. I thought I could trick it, you know, because it seemed like it was deteriorating in size. But, uh, you know. Anyway, I'm not going to run around forever looking for Blooming Life, especially when I don't really know what it's for. Uh, it probably has some major use somehow, but... Ah! Might as well kill you, and then I can pull out. Right, let's uh, take care, take ourselves out. Right. We want to go to Pasanga. It's almost time to um, to go home. Right, so that's a shattered world. Shattered world, eh? That is curious. Right, so we've nearly filled our cargo hole. And so what we're going to do gonna go to Zeta Parvo B and uh, we're just gonna autopilot over there find out what happens on the next time at least um, they're all close together in this uh, version of hyperspace right and we will catch you on the next time bye bye